Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to do part two of ideal room ratios. This is back to our top 12, top 10, top 11, I can't remember, videos viewed uh, over the last few years. So we've just expanded on those. So this is part two of ideal room ratios. What we find in our new build designs, the first thing we look for when we're doing width, height, and length ratios is no coincidental. Now, to some of you, that might be a different kind of term. Coincidental is where the problems, the frequencies of issue, the axial, tangential, and oblique modes are within five cycles or five hertz of each other. That creates a situation where you can have exaggeration or you can have attenuation. You can have both, okay? So the bottom line here is when you're doing a situation like this and you're doing a new build, you want to make sure you select the right ratios that have that going for it. No coincidentals, that's our goal. A lot of these older graphs, the Bonellas, the Struckmeyer, Septemeyer, and, and all of those, they don't take into account the, the coincidentals that much. They look at the axial modes, okay? I get it, they're the loudest, they're the biggest pressure. We gotta look at the coincidentals because they can be just as loud as the axial modes. And there's ratios that really do work. And it takes a lot of time to figure them out. But with our database, 250 some rooms built and measured, we'll find it. Takes a little time, we'll find it, okay? So they can be audible, as audible as an axial mode. That's the thing that you have to realize. You can hear them or not hear them, all right? And they're, they're powerful. We have to treat all axials. We have to treat all tangentials. So the less of those both that we have and coincidentals, the better we are, especially when they get below 100 cycles. It really becomes an issue, okay? Small rooms. So we can have coincidentals. Here's what makes matters worse. From, we know that an axial mode is two parallel walls, floor ceiling, sidewall, sidewall, front to rear. But you could have an axial, you can have a coincidental mode from two non-parallel walls, let's say the ceiling and the sidewall. So not good, not good at all. And we want to minimize all our issues out of the gate with you guys that are doing new builds. So that's why the design process takes a lot of time to figure out these ratios. Sometimes a foot here or there can make a huge difference, okay? We don't want any coincidentals because they got real strength. Now here's the thing these charts that are available on the internet what they don't account for is the treatment requirements inside the room they'll show you the axial mode distribution throughout the room but what about the new room that you build inside of your existing room that has 12 to 16 inches of treatment so now you have a new what we call id you have a new internal dimension after you treat it is that going to produce more problems, greater issues? We have to see. So when we take into consideration room size ratios, we have to take all of these variables into consideration. Axial, tangential modes, oblique modes, coincidentals, usage. All of these variables have to be taken into consideration. There is no one size fits all, and what applies in one situation may not in another. Okay. I know you're all out there looking for easy ways, but you fall prey to companies when you start thinking like that. Because they'll say, all right, give them an easy way. Whether it's right or wrong, feed them. Give them something easy to understand and buy. It's nonsense. If you understand your problems, you can definitely understand the solution. Now, having budget to solve it is a completely separate issue. But if you understand the problem, you'll understand the solution. That's why I spend so much time trying to educate people on problems. We already talked about the new internal dimensions producing issues. You want to make sure that the calculation is, is in there. Sidewall distances on a two-channel rig. We want to make sure those distances are equal. We don't like less than 14 feet for sidewalls. So keep that in mind in your existing or your new builds that we got to have that. So if we're going to net 14, what do we got to have if we're going to treat? We got to have 16. 
because treatment is going to take 12 inches here, 12 inches here minimum. If you want to go down to 30 cycles, we got to give up 16, 32 inches on a width dimension. So all this has to be calculated. All this has to be designed for. Okay. Ideal room ratios part two. A little bit more elaboration for you. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.